Well, hello again. Welcome back to one of these, to a new series of videos of me just coloring the same old thing. Yay. I'm sorry that my last video that shows me drawing isn't that good visually. Like, you can't really see anything until the three minute mark where everything kind of takes shape and you go like, ah, that does, that's what, that's what it is. And I'm like, yeah, um, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not that good, probably because I'm not using the recording tool to its maximum. And I really don't know how far I can go because this computer isn't mine, so I can't get too trustworthy and explode my friend's computer like that. No, I won't abuse of it. But anyway, back to this drawing. I already separated everything into layers so I don't scream and cry. I accidentally color over something. I rather have everything separate so I can then just use the sliders to change the colors individually. So if I don't like that pink right there, I want it a bit more fuchsia or a bit more purple, I'll just slide it there. <laughs> But I also got questions that people aren't quite sure what I'm doing blending wise because a lot of people like to use the the blocking technique or you like to just use the marker tools that just blend it right away very softly. And I don't like blending. I, I don't like soft blending. Some people make it look amazing, but for some reason, I can never get into it. I can never make it look good. Like, I don't know how you do it. You're amazing. So, oh, right there, I'm fixing her nose because I'm like, man, this perspective is skewed as heck. I don't know if I'm doing anything right or wrong. And it's because you're supposed to be looking like from up top. You're supposed to be in the air per se, that's where the camera is, and she's looking up. But it doesn't really translate that well, and it looks like she's, I don't know, sitting down and looking up, maybe? It's a really hard perspective. I've only used like five pictures. I used a collage of five or six pictures, but only, only three got really close to being helpful, like, yes, that's what I want. And I just got as close as I could. So hopefully it will look okay once I cover it all up with sparkles so nobody notices my my mistakes. <laughs> that's, that's a secret between you and me. Pro tips. Other than that, I've been getting a lot of questions about how I blend and they don't really get it. No matter what they do, they can't seem to get blending. And okay, I'll try to explain this using words because I did a video back then on how to do it, but it was more of a joke and I didn't really explain it in a serious manner. I won't explain it here in a very serious manner either because I don't know how to be serious apparently. But what you do, I don't really give a shit about the pen tool's density here. I'll just leave it at max. And I won't make the, in the advanced settings, there is no toggle for the the density. I check that out because I don't need it. I don't need to blend with the pen tool in that way. What I do is, is I go to my Wacom settings and I set it to the firmest level. If you have another tablet, look for something about softness. How soft can you tap? How, can you lightly tap and it will just go like, ooh, it's like a butterfly is touching me. Like that. Like you have to press really hard in order to get the fullest, like uh, the, the fullest opacity. You need to really press there. So I like to draw very lightly. So that's one technique I use is just to set it all in firmness, just the maximum firmness so I don't have to put so much effort into scratching my tablet. But what that also translates into the these brush settings is that no matter how lightly I do, the edges around the, the circle will always be somewhat blended. Those 
small, small pixels that you have to zoom in to really, really see, I can just pick that up and it's already like a color between those two. It's an overlay between those colors. So I pick that up and I keep on blending until where I want it to be. And you just keep going with that. It's sort of like, it's kind of using kind of, kind of in Photoshop where you toggle the opacity with the tablet and you pick up the color using alt in your keyboard it's kind of like that but you might you might need some other finesse with photoshop as with sci it's a lot easier maybe i don't know they're both pretty easy to handle once you get used to it you just go like yeah i can do this i'm gonna be a master and really show the skills one day they'll be like that but i hope that explains it somewhat for you i hope you you learned something here today but also oh this half of the video did not actually happen on a full run that was this was later on during the day where i was like hey you know that light stuff should have you know light hitting her and around her and stuff right you, you know that you have to do that right and inside my brain was like yeah you're right i should color that shit shouldn't i yeah so i did so and hopefully it will look cooler because of that it was like yeah there's light reflecting it's all cool and sparkly so pretty so and that background i'm pretty sure i'm gonna change that background uh it's something about it is just not mm, i'm not loving it i'm not loving it it's too halloween even though it might be appropriate for halloween it's coming up soon I kind of don't want to leave it like that. I really don't want it to leave it so Halloween looking. I'm probably going to change the shadow there too. Or put more shadow around the the eye. The eyes are so fun. I love coloring the eyes. That's why I leave it for last. It's like my, my, my flavor saver. <laughs> Just, oh yeah. Damn eyes, they're so fun to color. So I'm gonna leave it for last so I can have fun at the end of the day. Everything else is kind of a... Uh, it's just a little ganache. A little side dish. And that is my, my dessert. That's how I would explain it. Also boobs. They look so nice and cuddly. You wanna go... Nah, maybe not, but... But I sure do. So I'll explain that to you. I'm gonna go at those boobies, little boob window. I would make that window a lot bigger. I would stretch it out, to be quite honest. I would stretch it so far down, it will be an absolute boobage going on. You will see her navel. That's how far down it will go. Go the entire nine yards of torso if you're gonna have a boob window. Just go all the way, all the way, all the way. Maybe, maybe Vaju up to the Vaju. I never seen that before. Maybe in porn, there, there's been a character dressed like that where the boob window just st stretches down to her Vajuj. And maybe the Vajuj has the pubic hair all like trimmed into a heart, so it looks all cute. And she's all like, cutie, poopy, bubba. And I'm like, yes, yes, this is the hentai I signed up for. <laughs> it'd be great. Then out of fan. It'd be, it'd be amazing. I would love it. Someone make that. <laughs> or I will make it for you. But it'll probably be a dude. Which would be so much better. <laughs> Having his ding dong flailing, frailing around, just going like, yeah, woohoo. Just, okay, dude, put a shirt on. No, this is where my power comes from, girl. I have to leave it all out, all of it. But what if somebody kicks you in the balls? I don't care. I don't care. My balls can take it. Wow, those are really strong balls. That's right. 
he just walks away while the thing is wiggling around. Just, all right, whatever rocks your boat, baby. Whatever rocks it. Just, mm, amen to that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry that I barely talk about what's actually going on in the videos, but I have a feeling that this is what you signed up for. Yes, come back again, please. And join me for another adventure. Yes, indeed, another adventure. Hurry up, finish up, video. God damn it, I don't have much to say. Jesus Christ, 40 something seconds ago, you were fine. I thought you were done. Okay, we're done. We're done. Bye bye. Love you. I love you. I love you so much. Yes, I do. Bye.